Iceland has declared a state of emergency and more than 3,000 residents have been urged to evacuate the small coastal town of Grindavik. And why is that? Because the government of Iceland is anticipating the eruption of a volcano in its southwestern peninsula. Let me show you on a map where is Iceland. Reykjavik is the capital and largest city of Iceland. The current population of Iceland is around 376,000. And where is the volcanic eruption likely to happen? In the coastal town of Grindavik. Here is the town of Grindavik. As you can see, this entire southwestern part of Iceland is a peninsula. Water on three sides. Now let me tell you quickly about this coastal town. Grindavik is an attractive coastal town in Iceland, known for its picturesque location. There is also a world-famous geothermal spa called Blue Lagoon. The spa is located in a lava field near Grindavik and in front of Mount Thorbjorn. Now with this information you can easily guess that this place has an active volcanic vent underneath the ocean. That is how the water on the surface gets warm. In other words, there is a mid-oceanic ridge that runs through Iceland. It is called the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The interesting part is that Iceland is a unique place where the ridge is exposed above sea level, where you can directly observe the geological processes. This mid-Atlantic ridge separates the North American plate from the Eurasian plate. These plates are spreading apart at a rate of about 2.5 cm per year, creating new oceanic crust and widening the Atlantic Ocean. There are many volcanoes under the ocean of Iceland. These underwater volcanoes are part of the mid-Atlantic ridge. It is said that there are over 100 volcanoes under the ocean of Iceland. However, only a small fraction of these volcanoes have been studied or observed. The ocean depths make it difficult to study underwater volcanoes directly. However, scientists use a variety of methods to study these volcanoes, including sonar, seismic surveys, and sampling of volcanic rocks and sediments. Now, if you look at the mid-Atlantic ridge, it passes through the coastal town of Grindavik. In fact, this entire Reykjans Peninsula upon which Grindavik is located, is actually part of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And as I've mentioned, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge is a divergent plate boundary, where two tectonic plates are moving away from each other. This movement is causing the Reykjan Peninsula to slowly be pulled apart. The Reykjan Peninsula is a very active volcanic area, with many volcanoes and geothermal hot springs. The source of these volcanoes and geothermal hot springs is the magma coming out from the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The magma rises up to the surface of the earth and erupts as lava, forming volcanoes. The heat from the magma also creates geothermal hot springs. There is a long narrow crack or opening in the earth that extends from off the coast near Grindavik towards the inland area, somewhere around 15 km long. And anywhere along that, we could see a leak and see the magma or lava erupt onto the surface. Now whenever there is any volcanic eruption, toxic fumes are a real concern. Sulfur dioxide which can be corrosive and cause breathing problems. As I've already mentioned, Iceland sits on a tectonic plate boundary that is continually splitting apart, pushing North America and Eurasia away from each other along the line of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. So Iceland is accustomed to volcanic eruptions. While volcanic eruptions are dangerous and destructive, they are also an important part of Iceland's geology and landscape. These volcanoes have created Iceland's dramatic mountains, valleys and glaciers and they also provide geothermal energy that is used to heat homes and businesses throughout the country. Now this is nature's duality and Iceland teaches us that nature's wrath can also be its gift. It is a lesson in finding beauty in adversity and in understanding that from the depths of turmoil can emerge the warmth that sustains life. Iceland with its dual nature reminds us to appreciate the intricate balance between chaos and creation, reminding us that even in destruction there is a silent promise of renewal. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.